Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Getting Back to Basics. I am doing a solo mission. It's been rough for the last few weeks. Last minute, I've come out last night, camped at those islands over there, and I'm out here to try and get a mackerel uh, at the mackerel grounds, I guess you could call them, because there are literally over a dozen boats out here. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go out for the day, most likely the night, uh, and yeah. I need to catch some fish. And I've also got some friends who are sailing out to the reef on their little sailing yacht. Uh, so hopefully I can meet up with them at some stage out there this afternoon, catch up with, with them and their family. And may jump in the water if it's clean and safe enough. And yeah, hopefully we can get a few fish. Cause like I said, it's been really rough, really windy. No one's been able to get out in the boat and get a fresh feed of seafood for the last few weeks. So. Yeah, I would like to go home with a, a handful of fish, plus get some fish for dinner tonight. So we'll see how we go. Uh, I'll bring you guys along for the ride and uh, let's have some fun along the way. Massive shark, a huge bull shark. Look, there they are. Look at them. Oh, that is a big animal. Oh. oh, and after pulling all the tricks in the book, trying to get a mackerel, that's what I came out here for, to get a Spanish mackerel. Oh, I needed to too. I don't have much food on board. Oh, look at that. About four or five kilos. One of the best eating, fastest growing fish in the ocean. It's a real family affair out here this morning. Get a load of this. My uncle, who's a commercial fisherman, is just there. Morning, Daz. <laughs> and my granddad, who's 82, is over in that boat over there. Uh, it looks like the, the secret's out. <laughs> there is probably, I'll tell you exactly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 boats out here, all doing the same thing, looking for mackerel. <laughs> oh. Well known hotspot this time of the year, I guess. <sighs> time to move spots. Murphy! Murphy dog! Hey! <laughs> We're out of here. Yep. Right to the sun. Head east. You got the runaway coconut. Where are you going there, mate? Hang on. So after having a bit of a fish this morning at the mackerel hotspot uh, along the coast, on that fringing reef along the coast, I've gone now another further hour steam, about 20 miles east, 
out onto one of the reefs on the Great Barrier Reef and I've just come into the middle section of the reef right up into the shallows into a lagoon where there's a lot of coral rock structure there's a lot of sand I can see fish darting out from me and I've just anchored the boat up so I'm going to have a little bit of a look around in this reef and yeah see what the reef structure is like I'll get the drone up have a bit of a look uh, see if I can navigate my way in without uh, taking the prop off the outboard and might even if it looks clean enough and shallow enough and safe enough jump in the water to see if I can find another bit of seafood for dinner I'm going to jump in and have a little swim around that one there it is only it's less than two meters deep it's very shallow very clean it's like a big pool so let's go in see if we can find anything Insane. That's just about in perfect condition. This green cray has not long shed this shell. So somewhere around here is a, a very soft shell cray. Oh wow. I'm surprised a, a big greedy cod hasn't gobbled that up. Huh. You want to know where crays live? This is where they live. Right under that ledge. You can see he's been hiding in there, living in there. And then got to the point where this shell was not big enough and had to move it on. It's a piece of art, isn't it? Gonna trick the next person that has a swim over that rock. So great to see so many barramundi cod. They mate for life, and there's been so many that's so many rocks that have two on each of them. That's what we're after. Oh. 
Oh, it's a reoccurring theme with me. Right. There it is, there's the spoils of a quick 15 minute snorkel and a spear. Oh. So it's gonna go on ice. We'll figure out a way to cook that one up later. How bloody good. Very bloody good. Glad this one's actually got some meat in it. All right, lunchtime. I'm gonna enjoy the spoils, catching this beautiful fish and knock off a small section for sashimi. I generally like to go up near the head, not the tail, because down here is for swimming. A bit tighter flesh up near the head, a bit more tender. You can go back in the cold room. This here is lunch. Fresh mackerel, been on ice, chopped into thin slices, only a couple of hours old. Fresh bit of lemon, a little bit of little bit of juice, bit of chili juice, bit of soy sauce. Oh. Let's see how we go. Oh wow, maybe I shouldn't have had so much chili. That's bloody spicy. <laughs> Fresh really is best. Very happy with that. So we're after lunch now, had a good feed of that mackerel. And the game plan is, I'm going to head south about 20 miles to where a sand K should be, uh, a coral sand K. And that is the destination for this afternoon. And I'd say for the night, so. At the moment, it's still glassy calm. Conditions are absolutely perfect, so. Just gonna enjoy the ride. No! Hook back up! Oh. Woo! Now we're talking! Oh. Oh. Gotta get some ground, gotta get some ground. Just coming down the bottom of the edge of the reef and I thought I'd throw a line out before making the way over to the sand cave. But something's absolutely walloped this, this line. Didn't take a huge first run, but there's a bit of weight. Gaff at the ready, just in case. It's a good fish. What is it? It's silver. Silver. Ooh. It's foul hook, might be a trevally. Shark mackerel. Come here! Sharky Mac! There you go. Not exactly what I was after. I'm after your cousin, the Spanish mackerel. So, <clears throat> your lucky day, mate. Bit of good karma for the fish gods. This one's going back in the drink. See you, mate. Busca. Back to the drawing board. I think this is my mate, Haley and Jay up ahead, a couple of miles. No, I think it is. Oh, they're right into the sun, so it's hard to see. Yeah, Jamin! I'm carefully driving to the sun. I got no idea you were there. <laughs> Hi, yeah. How you doing? Good, how are you? Really good, any fish? I just had my first shot at a mackie. What, a Spanish mackerel? Yeah. How'd you go? Yeah. Uh, you can't get them every time. 
Pokemon book. Jeez, Pokemon. Pokemon Super Deluxe. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, don't right, step in the mud. Yeah. Right. Great with kids. <laughs> Where the muffins, there's cookies, there's Pokemon. And, I don't know. Come on! There's the whole fan bam on board. How good's this? How <laughs> big a mackerel? This big. A barracuda this big. A barracuda? Oh, you can eat the barracuda. Yeah. You've been hanging in Asia too long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Super couple going for the spear, leaving their kids in very capable hands. Hey, can you look after Az, please, guys, when we jump in? Can you guys look after me? <laughs> and not eat all the cookies? <laughs> Boys, sorry to interrupt you from Pokemon, but I think your mum shot something. Oh, I can't really see into the sun. But I can see clapping and cheering. <laughs> oh, what is it? What is it, hey? Hold it hard. Oh, Tusky! Yes! Yeah! What's your mum got, Archie? Tusky! Yeah, Tusky! Hey, what's it, Oh, yes. Just you. Oh, well done. Thank you. Beautiful. Luckily, Nara. Oof. This one. Look, your mum's got a real Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> this one, Glenara. You, you find one. I want. Hi, I'm hungry. You've just eaten four cookies. No, how I can you be hungry? Has he really? No. Oh, how many? How many? Honest. Honest? Three. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I think your I think your mum shot something, boys. Mum, did you shot a fish? Yeah, I think she shot a fish. Your dad was cheering. Dreamer. Oh, well done, hey. Wow, look at that. Look at that, boys. What's this one? A coral trout. That's it. I wanted a coral trout. Beautiful fish. That's dinner. Can we go really fast? Yeah, we can go fast. Just wait there. Hey yeah. guys, are you two ready? Just steady. Don't go Faster. all the way. That's it. You ever seen pirates out here? Uh, pirates are not real. Oh yeah. For real, mom. Hold on, boys. Got to be careful. <laughs> Oh, how good is this? Oh. Home for the night. It's Coral Sand K. Oh. Oh. Well, at least the boat sank it well. Good on you, mate. Don't go anywhere, right? So I had a bit of a spear with Haley and Jay and the two young, the two young rascals. They got a tusky, blue, uh, black spot tusky, and a coral trout. Two incredible eating fish. And they said they're gonna meet up here as well to camp the night. Oh, there they are, probably only a mile off now, coming into the island to anchor up here as well. And uh, no doubt we'll, we'll share a meal this evening. And hopefully, pretty spectacular sunset. So here's the setup. I just literally got the drone in that bag and that's the swag. It looks like 
Yeah, it looks like uh, it might not have much beach in a few hours because it's low tide now. <laughs> this literally looks like the only bit of sand that is exposed on the high tide. Mm. Maybe it's not the best idea to camp on here tonight. Maybe I should see if they have room on the yacht. <laughs> oh, nonetheless, fantastic afternoon thus far. Uh, out here on the Great Barrier Reef. There she is, the rifle bird. The sand K. Soon, I think, to be underwater. And there's the last of the day. So I've fallen on my feet this afternoon, meeting up with Haley and Jay and the family on their yacht, which I'm now on for dinner. I think it's coral trout pesto pasta. So probably a hell of a lot better than what, what I was going to whip up. But uh, before the sun sets, I just wanted to say thanks for coming along to get back to basics. Make sure you yourself go out there and get back to basics. And I hope to see you out here. <laughs> what a fucking stitch up. <laughs> We've been stitched up. we will welcome aboard the, uh, the plush deluxe yacht for the evening. Uh, we've just got a call from one of Haley and Jay's friends who is broken down in their boat about six to 12 miles away, we're not sure. It is almost nine o'clock at night and we need to go straight into a wind <laughs> that has come up on sunset. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go get him. Let's do oh, it. Really? <laughs> and we're going to find Dylan. He's broken down in the shipping channel. After an hour steam in the pitch black of night, uh, rescuing our uh, mate Dylan from <laughs> the motor that stopped in the shipping channel, we've made it back to the boat and the sand K over there. So good. <sighs> good night.